Hi, dudes and dudes. My name is Warren. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about, about the Widow Power today. What is Widow Power? How the Widow Power works? How it works? And what power, what gain did they do when they come the countries have the Widow Power? That's what we're going to discuss today. Now, Widow Power uh, is a power that if any resolution in the UN, uh, you know, regardless of what resolution it is, that can be cancelled with a single vote of a vetoed power nation. Uh, like uh, like anything, any resolution that in the UN, a single negative vote of a veto power nation could cancel it permanently. There are five um, veto power nations now. Uh, those are France, Russia, Britain and China. Uh, at the time of the formation of the UN, when the UN is formed, uh, there was only four countries like France, Russia, Britain and USA. But later on, India has given the opportunity to uh, to become a veto power, but India refused it and given that power to China. Thanks to that, uh, India will never get the veto power again. China is the main uh, competitor or main country that opposed India to get veto power now. Now, veto power is uh, unfair. Uh, according to countries like France, they they don't use uh, the veto power that much. Uh, but unlike Russia, Russia uses the veto power more and more. Uh, Russia is the most. Uh, Russia is the country where the veto power is used most. Uh, it, it used for mostly military purposes. Russia used for military purposes, and the veto power that we use uh, sometimes it may lead to large murders. So. Now, countries like uh, France, Britain, they are not using the veto power. They think that's unfair to use the veto power. And veto power is unfair, of course, but uh, the countries like other countries, like they need to get veto power, so it's a supreme, right? Right? It's, uh, it's one of the most supremes in the U UN. So, India, Brazil, Germany, and Japan uh, need to get the veto power. They're trying to get the veto power, so they formed an alliance. Uh, of G4 nations, uh, these G4 nations are trying to get the veto power. Uh, mainly, India is going to uh, get the veto power, uh, but they didn't get that. Get that. They didn't seriously get that because China opposed it. Now, the veto power is currently unfair, according to me, or according to most of the historians, because uh, if as uh, if one country of veto power is opposed to it. It's, it's currently everything against it. Now, in the case of mass murders, there's lots of this wrong decisions have been made uh, in the UN uh, that have been resulted uh, in the uh, in the wrong usage of veto power. Like uh, l large murders that mean can be prevented but didn't prevent it uh, due to some uh, Russia's veto use Russia veto power. Russia used the veto power against it. So uh, veto power. Um, Maybe so, seem seem so powerful enough, but uh, it, it is not that much good as it looks. And that's what I'm going to say about the wheel of power. Um, thank you. As always, peace.